hello friends this is shivli and you are welcome to my kitchen today i am going to show you how to make indian karahi paneer paneer means indian cottage cheese so this curry is very delicious to eat with any kind of indian staple dish such as rice roti chapati paratha naan etc and it's very simple to make also so let's see the recipe here i am adding 2 tablespoon of whole coriander seeds into a pan 1 tablespoon of cumin seeds you may add half teaspoon of fennel seeds also but i am not adding that and i am adding 3 red chilies 8 to 10 black peppers 1 black cardamom 2 green cardamoms about 1 inch of cinnamon 5 to 6 cloves and at the same time i am adding 2 bay leaves I'll tear them into pieces so that they can be roasted evenly. And now I'll turn on the heat and roast the spices very nicely on medium heat. I'll roast them until a very nice roasted smell comes out from the spices. And now they're done. Now I'll take them out into a bowl and let them cool down. And after that we have to grind them into a fine powder. So keep them aside and let's go for the paneer. We have to fry the paneer. So I have taken a fry pan and I am adding some cooking oil into the pan. The heat is on medium. Let the oil heat well and after that we have to add the paneer cubes into the pan. You can see friends that I have cut 250 grams of paneer this way. And I am adding the paneer cubes into the pan. The heat is on medium and now we have to fry them until they are of nice red color. Some people use raw paneer for making a curry but actually I don't like raw paneer so I like to fry them very nicely and you can see that the color is very nicely red and now I am taking them out into a plate. So let's keep them aside and go for the spices for gravy. And here I have put a vessel on induction and I have turned the heat on. Now we have to add some cooking oil into the pan. Let the oil heat well and after that we have to add onion here. I have cut two medium sized onions in slices and I am adding them. I am stirring a little and after that I will add one pinch of asapotida with the onion. You may add the asopotida into the cooking oil directly, there is no problem. But I am adding it now with the onion. There is actually no difference between the two, so I am adding it now. Now we have to fry the onion, but we don't have to fry the onion until brown color. We will fry them until a transparent color. And now the color is transparent as you can see. And now we have to add the tomatoes here. I have taken one medium sized tomato and cut it roughly and I am adding it, stirring a little and at the same time I will add 8 to 10 cashews here, a little quantity of salt to soften the tomatoes quickly and 2 to 3 paprikas for a brighter color. I added some cashews to bring a super creaminess in the curry. So now we have to fry them until the tomatoes are soft very nicely. And now they are ready as you can see the tomatoes are very nicely soft and now we have to take them out into a bowl and let them cool down. And I am really very sorry that uh, I forgot to add garlic and ginger with the spices. So I have to fry them separately. So I am taking uh, 8 to 10 garlic cloves and 1 inch of ginger and I will fry them. I am so sorry friends that I forgot to add them with the spices. Now I have to fry them and take them out into the same bowl with the rest spices and let them cool down. Here they are. And in the meantime I have made a fine powder of the dry roasted spices as you can see. So I am taking it out into a bowl. And in the same mixer jar I will blend the rest spices, I mean the wet spices into a smooth paste so i am adding the spices here and with the spices i will blend some milk cream it will be about one fourth cup of milk cream 
cow milk cream it is but you may use heavy cream cooking cream or fresh cream from the market also there is no problem i am using milk cream from home and now i will cover the jar and make a smooth paste I used a little quantity of water during blending so now this is the smooth paste we have made keep it aside and let's go for the curry I have taken the same pan of the spices and I am adding some cooking oil into the pan I will let the oil heat well and after that I will add some capsicum and onion I have cut two medium sized green capsicums and two medium sized onions into big pieces you can see the size and I have added them into the oil we have to fry them until the color of the onion is transparent so now we have to add some salt to taste we added some salt with the spices too so we have to remember that and add salt here and i have added one fourth teaspoon of turmeric powder and at the same time i'll add some red chili powder too i added three dry chilies for spiciness with the dry spices so i have to remind that during adding the red chili powder actually and now the color of the onion is very nicely transparent and now we have to add the spices mix I mean spices puree here I will add some water washing the mixer jar because I don't want to waste the spices and actually we need some water to cook the spices so I added some water I will mix it very nicely and at the same time we have to add the powder spices also that we made from the dry roasted spices here it is and now we have to add it I'll mix it properly and now we'll cover the pan and cook the spices the heat should be on medium to low and now the mixture is not still so dry but you can notice some oil over the spices and now it's time to add the paneer cubes here So I am adding the paneer cubes, I will mix them properly with the spices mixture and after that I will cover the pan again and cook them very well until the oil is released from the spices. I am covering it and now you can see friends that the oil is very nicely released from the spices and our mixture is ready. So now it's time to add some water for gravy but I'll add water later. Before adding water I want to add some fresh coriander leaves and some kasuri methi. Kasuri methi means actually sun dried fenugreek leaves and here I have taken 1 teaspoon of roasted kasuri methi and adding them this way and at the same time some fresh coriander leaves. I am adding kasuri methi and coriander leaves before adding water because I want the flavor of the kasuri methi and coriander leaves to be reduced a little and the royal taste of the paneer to be enhanced very nicely. So now I am adding some hot water. We don't need to add so much water for this gravy because the cooking process is almost done. So I am adding a little quantity of hot water. Don't add normal water on this stage. Of course add hot water and after stirring very nicely I am covering the pan for 2 to 3 minutes on low heat and now our curry is ready as you can see. I am mixing it very nicely and now you may add some fresh coriander leaves and kasuri methi if you didn't add them before but I added them before so my curry is ready. Now I will turn the heat off and cover the pan for 10 to 15 minutes and after that I am serving the curry. You can see friends that our karai paneer is looking very tempting, very delicious and it is very delicious to eat also. Serve this super delicious karai paneer with plain rice, jeera rice, pulao rice, fried rice, roti, chapati, naan, paratha etc. Any kind of Indian staple dish. It is very delicious to eat and the making process is also very easy as you saw so try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to let me know about your experience hit the like button if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel hope to meet you in the next video thank you so much for watching bye bye